Yeah, apparently we're hyping and we're already working on level five, Papa Curl. Welcome in. The new one died terribly. Their fresh ripped to shreds. Their blood splattered everywhere. It was a real mess. Oh no, that verse is just guessing. This would be a very good time to offer me a bribe. Papa Curl cheered. X two hundred and thirty one. Oh, we hyping. Desan rage. Desan deal. Desan love. <laughs> well, okay then. So I only had eight knowledge after that, so we're gonna have to go back through and do this again. On shattering the relic, those bent to it cannot wander the next world. Only chance of peace at last. And we just have to keep trying, not just for them, but for us as well. For when the time comes and we are no longer ourselves, we just have to hope that someone just like us does this duty and shatters the damn relic that bound us. But if we falter in our faith, who says they will not relinquish their sacred duty as well? Um, so let's invest. So how this works... <laughs> so how this works is I make a gamble. I say how many potions I'm going to hand to him. If I can get to the next zone, when I come back to him, he will have double that many potions. So if I were to invest, like, say, three potions, and I get to the next zone, he gives me six. Gotcha, bitch. Counterattacks after parry cause critical damage for the next five seconds. Okay. I'll take it. Oh, you aren't dead yet. Got him. Okay, and that's worthwhile because that stops them from shooting spores. Okay, you can just die. That's what I get for trying to practice my parry. That's what I get for trying to practice my parry. <laughs> so you talk to this girl and you get different you get different modifiers. And then those modifiers will go into the next world. So when you build the next world, these are the modifiers in effect. Yeah, parry practice is perhaps the most dangerous game you can do. So we're going to end, I'm going to invest all my pots. I think I can do it. Thank you everybody for making the hype train a success. My naughty list. Ellis, thank you for the gift sub at the very end. Let's share my choo-choo train. What is this? Apparently, it's an angry owl. And a uh, hungry hippo. Okay.
Every third successful chain hit knocks back all enemies around you. Okay. So if I do that, and then this lets me do this. What's wrong, Widget? Do you need to go outside? Do you need to go potty? Yeah, Widget needs to go potty. Okay. Yeah, these these are obviously a little ugly. All right, and back to the river of loot. Okay. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, I think I'm starting to see some rules in form in my head. If a corner has something like this it, that can block it, that'll block you from being able to kitty corner. So like this is a free corner because neither corner is obstructed by anything. But since this has something in the corner, I can't just flee freely roam it. We made it. We'll load it. go. <laughs> Got it. We're level two. Let's put a point in vitality.
know there's one over there. I just need to be able to reach it. So what if I do this? Booyah! Don't think that'll net me anything. Got it. Hey, it could happen. <laughs> so, I gave him all my potions. You ready? I got eight potions. God damn. Oh, the oh, let us journey to the sacred lands. So we'll be saved by the celestial's hands. Is this a lie spung to draw us near? Or is this the truth we've yet to hear? I'd sell my soul for a chance to shine, to pen great songs and fluid rhymes. Oh, what a talentless bard to do, but ask for a small donation from you. Okay. Ifus is done. Oh, that's what that did. It refills my health and mana going over to it. Okay. Cool. Now I know what the head does. You go to the head and he heals you full. So I have eight potions and all that. Nice. And then this says, hey, escape sucking village in under two minutes and get a boon. First, I need to get some unlocks, because I haven't unlocked anything in this game, and that's kind of frustrating me. Did it send ghosts to the other players when you when you ate them using the super pellet? Because if it didn't, that's a shame, because that was a slam dunk for a mechanic. Slam dunk. Okay, so... Because this thing's broken. Have you been buying goods for my brother? I strongly advise against that. 
Backstab charm. First attack in the chain teleports you behind the enemy. can't do that okay hold on oh and there's pillars on all the sides that's bullshit okay we can work with this this I can work with See what I gotta do. Can I get around the corner here? No? Okay, that's fine. I know what to do. Okay. corner here okay I need to get that in there okay cool so we've done this backwards can we fix this I'd like to think we can you know what? It's <sighs> literally where I came from. I can't do much with that. Um, let's see. Okay. Okay, come on. Up. Ah. Damn it. Okay, I need to start from down here. Up. Got it. Let's me do that. That works. We're doing that. That's why that will work. Okay. So there is a kind of codified rule. So here, here's how this works, okay? When you have two pieces like this, as long as when you start the movement, you can still technically walk off it, it'll let you walk off it. So I'm just going to walk this over across like this, 
and then walk off the ledge like that. And then that lets me do this. So like, for instance, here. Well, let me get that. Enemies drop weapons to a higher level, but they will deal more damage as well. Okay. Aha! crowd. Every hit has a 30% chance to stagger an enemy regardless of your poison weapon. Sure. Okay. Nice. Okay, so I found another exploit. This is kind of cheesy, but I'm going to take it. Uh, let's go ahead and do the knockback charm. Because look at that vitality. Jesus.
Christ Almighty. Oh, another cellar. It's been a while since one of your kind made it this far. If us has chosen very well indeed. This path leads deeper into the keep. It is a husk, a truly regrettable place. Please stock up on supplies while you can. The spawn bolt charm. Every fourth successful chained hit spawns a lightning bolt. Okay. Is this Callum? Hi, Callum. Be kind to the matron, for kindness is all she knows. Experience. Okay. I'm willing to take it. Lacerating demon. Uh, let's see. Propel charging in and attack thrusts you forward. This bell was a gift to the cult's grand adjudicator, son of the first elder. He took experience, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. We're in a much better position. Thanks to the gamble I made. He's high up. That's not gonna work. Nice. Funny sex number go. That's good. Cool. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Boop. take it. This has been very lucrative so far. Yeah, very nice damage on those counterattacks. I'll take it.
All right, um, let's see. That won't work because I won't be in contact. No, it's not going to let me because the pillar's in the way. Cool. Goes back to those rules I was talking about. But this is fair game because I have the corner. And I sh is the stairs going to prevent me from kitty cornering? Uh, I... Got it. There we go. So the trick is you want to be on the edge that's going to be alongside the edge of your block that you want to get on the farthest. Yeah, I'm not sure this is going to work out because my end game's just non-existent unless I can do something like that. Okay, that's actually somewhat noteworthy progress. Um, let's see. <sighs> Can't do it from there. Can do this. Can I do this? I think so. So the trick I'm trying to get is I need to be able to move the stairs to the right. Got it. This is going to prevent them from going further to the right, though. And that's a problem. Okay, we got that. Okay, so we fixed that. If I could have a vertical one that... That's not going to move. And I think I've locked myself out here. No. Uh, have I? That's that. Yeah, I think I've just locked myself out of doing anything this way. Okay. So then we gotta find a new route. That's the... That's him. Okay, let's look at the map. I have to be able to go that way. Uh, I might be able to do it by going south. Yeah, it's created some soft locks for sure.
Oh god. Forgot he does that. What benefit does... No benefit. That's the answer. I'll take all that knowledge. That's actually a good amount of knowledge. Oh, they're up high. They're all up high. Ow. Now that I'm in a safer place. Good. Don't need footage rags. No, we broke the we broke the sexy number. Uh, no, we're happy where we're at with those. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. This is new. Go back to the sanctuary. Endurance ring adds a point of endurance. Oh, 
Sure. Let's see what happens doing a huge amount. Okay. Thank you for my gen thank you, my generous patron. Please take this. It's the most precious thing I own. Are you hearing this? Thank you so much, my kind friend. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, shield. Spawn a bolt traveling in random directions, shocking enemies. Intelligence increases bolt count and damage. Oh, I can't go back that way because we've moved on. So there's no point to allowing me over there, right? Yeah. <sighs> Boy, AI. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, lightning bolt, invisibility. Actually, you know what? Let's try unlocking other weapons. That might be nice. can do a disgrace bait, cancel attack anytime by dodging, a story two-handed sword that's seen many battles, expel blade, heavy attack shoots a blade forward dealing damage along its way, costs mana, many who held it suffered self-inflicted injury as a result of its reckless design, making it a favorite of foolhardy warriors. Okay, uh, let's go with this one. Oh, I need four more knowledge. Uh, Disgrace Blade's fine. Okay, and then these are locked. But now we have the Disgrace Blade. That's kind of nifty. Disgraced play. No honorable knight would be seen wielding that. Then again, you're neither honorable nor a knight, are you? Shall we do business? 